kind of, for kind, of, kind of introduction. I'm Tsuyoshi Yamamoto from NEC Corporation, and I'm a project manager of this uh, superconducting uh, project. And uh, today I'm going to uh, report uh, the progress of the uh, project for this in this uh, two and a half years. Uh, okay, uh, this is the uh, table of contents of my talk. Uh, first, uh, I, I will introdu introduce my, about my project with some background on the field, and uh, then I will do the uh, progress report. Uh, since the time is uh, limited, uh, today I decided to do first make some uh, overview of the progress, and then I will pick up two topics and uh, explain more uh, details about them. And finally, uh, I will explain, I will conclude my talks with an uh, explanation of the plans for the second half of the project. Uh, okay, uh, first, uh, uh, introduction of superconducting qubit uh, as a start for this session. A superconducting qubit uh, is an electric uh, circuit made of superconductor and Josephson junctions. And uh, it's a nonlinear oscillator with typically around 5 gigahertz resonance frequency. And it's operated at uh, 10 millikelvin using a dilution refrigerator. And it is uh, fabricated by uh, EVIM or photolithography. Uh, and um, it has a uh, high degrees of freedom of uh, design. But uh, that will come, that comes uh, with the price of the relatively low uh, coherence and uh, non-uniformity, uh, which uh, the, the shortcomings compared to other systems like uh, ion traps or photons or cold atoms. But in this, uh, since this uh, first demonstration of coherent control of the superconducting qubit, uh, in this uh, 20 or so five, 25 years, uh, the technology has uh, advanced uh, uh, quite rapidly. And uh, recently, uh, the quantum circuit consisting of 50 or even more than 100 qubits, superconducting qubits, uh, are reported uh, by many uh, groups in the world. And so we are now in the uh, NISC uh, era, and where this uh, 100 uh, qubit scale quantum chip uh, is uh, investigated, both in theory and experiment, uh, hoping to run some useful uh, calculation without error correction uh, faster than classical uh, computer. But in this moonshot uh, project, our goal is to realize, uh, go beyond this NISC and, and uh, uh, realize a full tolerant uh, universal uh, quantum computer. And towards the realization of this uh, full tolerant uh, quantum computer, uh, there are two main uh, problems uh, in hardware uh, development. Uh, the first one uh, is uh, a formidably uh, large number of uh, physical qubits, uh, required uh, physical qubits, and that it depends on the many parameters such as error rate or the error coding uh, co correction code, uh, but uh, this uh, uh, estimate uh, the ten, uh, 10 to the eighth uh, number of uh, qubits to run some useful uh, quantum algorithms. And the second problem is uh, uh, scalable, uh, sorry, uh, the wiring and electronics in the superconducting qubit system. Uh, this represents the typical, present typical setup of the superconducting quantum computer, where the quantum chip is located at the uh, base temperature of the direction refrigerator, and it has to communicate with uh, room temperature electronics via uh, microwave coaxial cables. And uh, typically, uh, the, for the control part, uh, we need more than one coaxial cables per qubit from room temperature to the uh, 10 millikelvin. And for the readout part, uh, we have some bulky uh, microwave components, such as low noise uh, cryogenic amplifier or uh, circulators. So due to the, the limitation of the uh, space and cooling power of the direction refrigerator, uh, the, this the brute force approach uh, cannot go beyond maybe 100 or 1,000 uh, qubits. So at present, uh, there are five or six orders of magnitude gap between manageable and required number of qubits. 
Uh, therefore, we need to increase uh, the number of manageable qubits and to decrease the uh, uh, required uh, number of qubits, both by orders of magnitude, in order to realize this uh, FTQC. And, uh, so we need some new technologies, and the former one uh, probably includes uh, cryogenic electronics or high, uh, clean power dilution refrigerator, high density uh, wiring, cable wiring, and maybe chip to chip uh, interconnection. And the latter one uh, includes, uh, basically, we need to increase, uh, so improve the quality of the qubits uh, to, uh, to include, uh, improve the coherence and uh, improve the uh, fidelity of the gate. And also, uh, uh, we need to maybe invent some new way of uh, quantum error correction scheme. Uh, but uh, also, uh, of course, it is important to develop uh, in these individual uh, technologies, uh, but uh, uh, how to best utilize those uh, technologies, even if it's developed, uh, is, is, not a very, uh, is not a trivial task at all, because uh, complex uh, scalability trade-offs with a huge design parameter space uh, is uh, expected. For example, the trade-off between uh, power consumption uh, versus uh, logical uh, error rate, uh, as discussed in this paper. So uh, we need uh, to develop some system-level uh, architecture uh, uh, optimization method uh, so that uh, uh, to, uh, to incorporate uh, these uh, technologies in, uh, to have some best strategies uh, to utilize those uh, technologies and m to maximize uh, the power of the computer uh, as a total uh, system. And, uh, of course, uh, there are lots of uh, uh, efforts in this direction recently. Uh, so uh, there are several, here I show several examples, uh, like uh, qubit control using optical uh, fiber, or interchip connection, and also those uh, kind of cryogenic uh, electronics. And also uh, for the uh, computer architecture side, uh, there are recently also uh, many uh, studies uh, about the, uh, the, the architecture of this uh, superconducting quantum computer system. Uh, for example, this one uh, used the SFQ circuit for the decoder of error collection. And this one is uh, how to uh, achieve the scalable quantum control system uh, using SFQ circuit. And this one, uh, this one investigates uh, uh, several uh, schemes for the uh, error collection uh, microarchitectures uh, using uh, class CMOS or an SFQ circuit and estimate the maximum number of the qubit uh, under the construct, uh, cons under the, uh, under the, constraint of the uh, cooling power of the refrigerator. And now, uh, having explained the background here, I introduce our project. Uh, here is a list of the team uh, of our uh, project, uh, which consists of uh, six private companies, four, uh, eight universities, and four uh, national institutes, uh, actually quite many. And we have uh, three R&D targets. Our first one is the high-quality superconducting qubit for FTQC. And this is uh, basically uh, directly related to the uh, qubit uh, physics, and this includes uh, improvement of qubit coherence, uh, fabrication with uh, material process, and uh, 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 magnetic uh, junction and uh, bosonic uh, qubits. And the second one is the hardware system for integrated circuit superconducting uh, qubits. Uh, it's uh, related uh, uh, some uh, peripheral uh, technologies like uh, dilution refrigerator, uh, packaging, and uh, also cryogenic uh, amplifiers. The third one uh, is a scalable electronics for quantum error correction. Uh, this uh, basically uh, is related to room temperature and uh, cryogenic uh, electronics, uh, such as uh, um, SFQ and cryo FPGA and cryo CMOS. And this one also includes the investigation of the uh, uh, quantum computing architecture. And uh, uh, so uh, this uh, figure uh, shows the rough sketch of the future superconducting quantum computer system we try to build. 
that we realize such systems, uh, uh, each API is, uh, is responsible for the individual uh, technologies in the figure. And most of the PIs are responsible for the hardware development, but uh, we have a PI of a computer uh, architect, uh, Professor Koji Inoue from Kyushu uh, University, and uh, he will uh, investigate how to uh, orchestrate these uh, technologies as a, a total computer system uh, from the viewpoint of the computer scientist. Uh, and uh, so this is uh, uh, explain, this explains the goals of the project. Uh, this represents, again, the current step up of the superconducting quantum computer. Uh, we control and read out the qubit from uh, using uh, room temperature electronics. And uh, uh, we have more than uh, one uh, coaxial cable uh, per qubit. Uh, and uh, in 2030, 30, uh, 10 years after the uh, project, uh, uh, we move at least uh, part of the, those uh, room temperature electronics to uh, cryogenic, uh, temper cryogenic uh, uh, temperature uh, and uh, then uh, to uh, reduce uh, the, the number of uh, cables uh, less than one uh, per uh, qubit. Uh, and, uh, and hopefully uh, demonstrate some uh, basic error correction and, uh, and get some uh, strategy for the for the uh, scale up for the next uh, coming 10 years. And uh, so, so the, the, the current project, five years goal uh, for the current project uh, is uh, to, to, in order to realize this uh, evaluation and uh, uh, development and evaluation of this uh, individual uh, components such as SFQ, uh, demultiplexer, or uh, SS-based mixer uh, amplifier. And so on. Uh, from now, uh, I'd like to introduce our progress in this two and a half uh, year. And uh, uh, just first uh, overview. And uh, in the first target, uh, uh, the, this uh, written uh, notes on team in cooperation with uh, NICT Yoshiasan's uh, team, uh, they uh, successfully uh, fabricated high performance uh, transmon qubit uh, with an intellectually uh, grown titanium uh, nitride film. Uh, they successfully reproducibly uh, achieved uh, more than 100 microsecond uh, T1 and T2. And uh, uh, in the best case, uh, the T1 is uh, more than 400 microsecond, uh, which is, uh, I believe, the, the one of the longest uh, reported for the transmom uh, qubit. And they, now they are trying to uh, use this uh, high quality qubit for the bosonic uh, uh, qubit uh, experiment. And this is another one about the decoherence. Uh, NTT cyto uh, using the spectroscopy method, uh, successfully identified uh, two different types of two-level uh, fluctuator, that is a charge fluctuator and a critical, just a, uh, critical current uh, fluctuator. And uh, this, can, this is uh, useful for understanding the mechanism of the uh, two-level fluctuators. And the uh, cyto also uh, uh, reported as a theoretical uh, gate error analysis in, in the uh, bosonic qubit uh, 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 experiment. And also the, about the bosonic code, uh, TUS uh, Chai San uh, successfully uh, demonstrated the Wigner uh, tomography and gate operation of a calculate uh, qubit, uh, which I will uh, explain more details later. And the second one, uh, the hardware system for the second uh, target two, uh, the, the RBAC cryo and RBAC uh, uh, are developing uh, the dilution dry refrigerators. Uh, they have the expertise, uh, RBAC cryogenics uh, have, uh, has the expertise on the dilution uh, system, and RBAC uh, Corporation has the expertise on the uh, pulse tube cryo cooler. So, so uh, they are family company and uh, collaborating to develop uh, some uh, uh, dry dilution refrigerator dedicated for uh, quantum computing. Uh, Riken uh, Yorosan team is trying to uh, develop this kind of uh, multi-layer uh, chip, chip, uh, stack chip structure where each chip has, chip has different uh, functions such as a qubit itself and control or readout. Uh, so far, they tried to develop their fabrication uh, technique and uh, achieved uh, this kind of uh, three-layer stack uh, 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 chips uh, reproducibly. 
Uh, and so they are now trying to characterize their uh, microwave uh, transmission uh, properties. Uh, NAOJ and uh, NICT, a joint team uh, developing an interesting device, uh, uh, SIS mixer-based microwave amplifier, uh, which can be an alternative to the current uh, semiconductor-based hemp uh, amplifier. Uh, they, uh, they had some uh, proof of concept uh, experiment uh, and, and obtained some uh, um, uh, promising uh, result, and I will explain this uh, later. The target three, uh, Nagoya University, uh, in collaboration with NEC, are developing uh, the low power uh, SFQ circuit, uh, which are supposed to be operated at the same temperature as uh, qubit, that is uh, 10 millikelvin. Uh, so far, they have tried to uh, construct uh, the uh, standard cell uh, libraries for this low JC uh, process, and uh, using part of the uh, libraries, uh, they successfully demonstrated the operation of some uh, simple circuit, uh, such as uh, SFQ interface at 300 millikelvin. Uh, Nanobot Semiconductor Inc. and Keio University, uh, University of Tokyo joint team, uh, are working on the readout of the qubit at uh, 4 Kelvin uh, temperature uh, using the uh, cryogenic uh, FPGA and uh, uh, cryocimos. Uh, the cryogenic, uh, uh, this uh, nanobot is a unique device uh, uh, used for the uh, FPGA, uh, non volatile and low power consumption FPGA. And they are trying to uh, optimize this device for the usage of this uh, FPGA at the low temperature and uh, design, uh, modify the uh, design to, to optimize uh, uh, the device. And uh, they also try to develop the, uh, uh, several libraries for the cryo CMOS, and they, uh, currently they uh, already fabricated the uh, AD, uh, AD Combata uh, prototype device operating and, and demonstrate a successful operation at uh, 4 Kelvin. Uh, then uh, I will pick up uh, two topics. Uh, first one is uh, Wignatography and gate operation of CarCat Qubit. The CarCat Qubit is an attractive platform for the realization of four tolerant universal uh, quantum computing. Uh, the Qubit is a Schrodinger uh, cat state uh, stabilized in the car parametric uh, oscillator. The cap state is known to have highly uh, biased error, uh, so the, the phase flip rate is much uh, low phase, much smaller than the bit flip rate, uh, which leads to the higher error threshold uh, than, than the, those for unbiased qubits such as uh, transmon. And hopefully uh, the, the leads to the reduction uh, of the hardware overhead for the quantum error uh, collection. So recently there are uh, many uh, theoretical proposals and experiment uh, as well. Uh, to explain the, the experiment, uh, the, uh, I'll show some theoretical background. The, the circuit of the parametric oscillator is uh, quite simple. It's a squid uh, shunted by the capacitors, and uh, the, the magnetic flux is modulated by, uh, which is called uh, pump, uh, typically at the twice the static resonance frequency. So the Hamiltonian uh, is given by this, and it will be in the, under the rotating wave approximation. Uh, this it becomes like this, and uh, it consists of three terms: uh, the, the tuning of the uh, pump, uh, flux modulation, and canon linearity, and uh, parametric uh, driving a uh, pump. And uh, uh, if we forget about the detuning for the moment, uh, this Hamiltonian uh, is factorized in this way. So you, you can see that this Hamiltonian has a two uh, degenerate uh, eigenstate of a coherent state, plus minus alpha, uh, where alpha is uh, square root of beta over k. And so if you start from the vacuum state, which has even parity, and adiabatically ramp up this uh, pump, then the system is uh, expected to end up with uh, even parity uh, cat state. And if you start uh, with uh, uh, one fox state, uh, on the other hand, uh, you expect uh, uh, odd uh, cap state in the end. Uh, the uh, Tyson team uh, demonstrated this. Uh, uh, they, they use uh, this device uh, consisting of KPO and ancillary uh, transmon and uh, readout uh, resonator. 
and then uh, preparing different uh, uh, initial state uh, for zero, for one, and the superposition, and then and they adiabatically lamp up the, uh, the pump. And finally, uh, the final state was uh, checked by the Vigna tomography, and uh, uh, they obtained uh, expected uh, cat state uh, correspondingly. And so the, the key of the, this uh, the device is uh, having the, the uh, ancillary transmit, uh, which were uh, absent in the similar uh, experiment uh, from um, previous experiment uh, from other uh, groups. Uh, but but, but uh, this uh, ancillary transmit uh, made it possible to do uh, this uh, Wigner tomography relatively in an uh, easy, straightforward way uh, while keeping the coherence of KPO uh, high. Uh, high enough. Uh, and uh, uh, they, they, they performed the, uh, using this cut qubit, uh, they also uh, demonstrated the uh, gate operation. Uh, the X rotation uh, can be uh, realized by uh, adding the single photon uh, drive uh, at the same time as this uh, pumping. Uh, this single photon drive uh, creates an energy difference uh, between two uh, coherent states, so uh, it rotates the, the coherent state. Um, uh, it rotates the z-axis uh, in coherent basis, which corresponds to the uh, x rotation in the cat state basis. As the uh, z rotation can be realized uh, by introducing the detuning of the pump during this uh, pumping stabilization, uh, this introduces the uh, energy difference between two uh, cat states, and this uh, gives rise to the Z uh, rotation of the cat state, cat basis. Uh, this is the, the demonstration, the demonstration of X and Z uh, gate uh, operation, uh, and uh, uh, they, uh, they characterize the final state uh, by giving a tomography and uh, see the expected uh, rotation, for example, X rotation uh, plus cat, minus I cat, and minus cat, and Z rotation uh, plus alpha, I cat, uh, minus alpha. Uh, yeah, yeah. And uh, the, 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 the fluidity is uh, roughly about 80%, which is limited by the single photon loss uh, during the gate operation. And they are now trying to develop uh, the uh, using the uh, two qubit, uh, two cat qubit uh, experiment. Uh, the, another topic is the SIS mixer based uh, microwave amplifier. Uh, the one uh, factor, one of the factors limiting the scale up the uh, superconducting quantum computing system is uh, uh, low noise amp cryogenic amplifiers at four Kelvin, uh, the hemp based uh, amplifiers. Uh, it has a very nice uh, performance uh, of, in terms of the uh, noise temperature, wide band, ba bandwidth, and the gain, uh, but it consumes about 10 milliwatt uh, consum uh, power consumption, which is about 1% of the cooling power of the fridge at 4 Kelvin. Uh, and uh, the hopeful uh, um, uh, alternative uh, uh, with this uh, semiconductor uh, amplifier uh, is recently reported uh, by NIST group, uh, which is uh, uh, traveling with parametric amplifier based on the kinetic inductance of the superconductor. And it also, they also report very nice uh, performance uh, gain and noise temperature, uh, and, uh, but they uh, still uh, require relatively high uh, pump power to drive the device, and, uh, and uh, that power should be uh, reduced further. Now, actually, uh, the people in radio astronomy have the same scalability problems as we have in the realizing quantum computer. Uh, in order to uh, improve the observation efficiency of the telescope, uh, recently superconducting receivers uh, tend to go from single beam to multi beam. And in order to scale up uh, multi beam receivers, they need a uh, compact and low power consumption uh, cryogenic amplifier, which is the same uh, the situation as ours. And that the team of the uh, NAOJ, uh, which is a National Astronomical uh, Observatory of Japan, uh, invented a nice amplifier uh, based on the superconducting uh, SIS mixer which was originally developed for, for their receiver uh, in uh, telescopes. The idea is to use two uh, mixers uh, in series, uh, and uh, uh, the, the input is first up-converted to millimeter wavelengths, uh, high frequency, 
and then down converted uh, by the second uh, mixer. So, so it has the, the output has the same frequency as input. Uh, the interestingly, the, the, this, uh, these up converting and down converting mixers are known to have again this uh, frequency conver conversion uh, process. So, so we expect uh, the total uh, gain uh, uh, of this uh, device. Uh, and uh, with uh, very, uh, the, the SS mixer works very low uh, power, so we, we expect very uh, low power consumption. And this is a proof of principle uh, experiment they demonstrated. Uh, the, the noise temperature uh, about uh, temp Kelvin and gain about 7 dB, which is uh, not as good as uh, uh, in two power hemp based temperature, but uh, the, the power consumption is order of microwatt, which is very uh, promising. And another uh, notable feature of this device is non reciprocity. Uh, actually, uh, in this two series mixer uh, configuration, and the forward and backward wave, uh, wave have different dependence on these uh, phases uh, in this figure, phase shifters. So, so, so the data in the previous uh, slide uh, were uh, operated in this uh, mode, but if we adjust the phase, uh, we can realize uh, this non-reciprocity. And, and this is a proof of principle, uh, a proof of concept uh, experiment. Uh, they achieved uh, over uh, six or seven gigahertz uh, bandwidth uh, 20 dB uh, isolation. And moreover, uh, they, it's small, but there is a uh, uh, finite uh, gain, uh, more than one. Uh, so uh, uh, in, in this, this has a possibility to realize a directional uh, amplifiers. Um, yeah, and SIS mixer uh, requires local oscillator source of 100 gigahertz frequency. And the OJ team is collaborating with NICT uh, team uh, who is uh, developing Josephson oscillator for the AO source of the mixer. The Josephson oscillator is a device uh, uh, utilizing an AC uh, Josephson uh, uh, effect. So it can generate high frequency uh, by applying the DC voltage uh, for the device. And uh, this is the device, and uh, they have an oscillator and a detector junction, and they successfully uh, observe the, the, the output power from the oscillator by observing uh, this uh, small uh, Shapiro set. And, and uh, the power is uh, currently, currently 0. Uh, order of 0.1 microwatt. Uh, so the, our goal is, uh, 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 yeah, so combining these technologies, uh, SI, uh, we want to uh, implement a, a monolithic uh, chip uh, uh, SIS-based uh, amplifier, which has uh, the characteristics of the low power and the directional gain, and also uh, the only the DC power supply is uh, needed, no RF power supply. And finally, uh, I will conclude my talk by explaining the plans for the second half of the project. And uh, actually, this is the uh, last slide. Uh, as for the development of cloud electronics, uh, we have been uh, working on the construction of the standard cell library, as I explained. So we developed SFQ, uh, low JC process, and the digital and analog CMOS circuit for uh, 4K operation. So, so using uh, these uh, libraries, uh, we are now uh, designing some functional uh, circuit, and we want to uh, first uh, test those, those individual circuits, and then uh, demonstrate, uh, uh, apply the circuit to do some uh, qubit control or readout uh, experiment. Okay. And about the system level uh, architecture uh, exploration, uh, we are trying to develop an evaluation environment of uh, uh, quantum uh, uh, control processor and the quantum classical interface, and uh, by which we evaluate the maximum, for example, the max number of qubits under the constraint of cooling power and the required logical error rate uh, for given uh, hardware configuration. And uh, using that environment, uh, we want to evaluate the impact of, co of core technologies developed in this project and hopefully propose some future uh, direction in in refrigerator system uh, architecture. Uh, thank you very much for your attention.